I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on complex numbers. We are not discussing that the complex numbers can be written in modulus argument form. And in this video, we will learn how to calculate the argument. So the question for you is, state the value of the following without calculator. So we have six examples, argument 2, argument i, argument minus 3, d is argument minus 2 minus 2i, e is argument 3 minus 3i, and f is argument minus 2i. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, any complex number, let's say z, which can be written as x plus i y, we could also write this in the form with z equals to r times cos of theta plus i sine theta, right? So what we are talking about is the calculation of this angle theta, right? Now this is called, now you know r is basically equals to square root of x square plus y square and theta is tan inverse of y over x. But that really doesn't give you the correct value all the time. Now the value of theta is basically from minus pi to plus pi, right? Plus pi is included. Uh, mainly because we want to be unique about our solution. If we go one full circle, twice or three times, we can land up at the same point, right? So that basically gives you the principal argument, right? So, so we are actually interested in finding principal argument. Now, with that information, let's begin with uh, finding out what is argument two. Now, when I say argument two, it means what? We are talking about, that is the real part, right? Just two. So we're talking about something here. Now that means this should be equal to zero, right? So let me write down the answers. So that should be equal to zero. Now all these are in radians, right? So all the answers will be in radians. The second one is argument I. Now when I say I, that means the location is, well, this is your real axis, correct? That one is your imaginary axis. So this is your imaginary axis. So when we say I, we are here, correct? So at this point, all the angles are being measured from positive x axis. So that is positive pi by 2, right? So this is equal to pi by 2. Now let's look into the next one, which is argument for minus 3. Now when I say minus 3, that means we are on this side, right? So that means that the angle is pi. So this answer should be pi. Clear? So that is how, you know, once you place it on the plane, then you can easily see what should be the answer, correct? So it is minus 2 minus 2i. So when I do minus 2 minus 2i, that means we're talking about that position, right? So in this case, remember, the principal argument is between minus pi to pi. So the answer should be this one. Is that okay? So that gives you minus 3 pi by 4. Is that correct? Now, if you use calculator, you may not get this answer, right? You may get in quadrant 4, right? Then it needs a correction. Perfect. We'll see that in the next video. Now, here we have argument 3 minus 3i. 3 minus 3i means what? So, that means we are here, right? 3 minus 3i. Okay. So, I'm not labeling them. This is real for us and that is imaginary in all these diagrams. 
correct so here the angle is right there the negative angle so both are same so we have 1 tan of pi by 4 is the answer and going clockwise means pi minus pi by 4 correct so that should be your answer to the question the last one here is minus 2i minus 2i is a point right there and so the the argument will be minus pi by 2 correct so that is how we could actually answer these questions so i hope it is absolutely clear right so I like you to uh, think about it and then take up the next question where we are doing going to do the same calculation with calculator perfect so I hope that helps feel free to write a comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best